Castilla de San Marcos was built entirely of a stone called coquina. In fact, it is the only local stone we have here in St. Augustine. Coquina is a sedimentary stone that's formed when seashells are compressed together underground for hundreds of thousands of years. Carbonic acid leaches through the ground down into the seashells, leaches calcium out of the shells, and that begins to bond it together into a stone. The stone is very porous, so when it is first quarried, it has a lot of moisture in it. The Spanish would quarry the stone on Anastasia Island, bring the blocks across the Matanzas River on barges to the workyard of the Castillo, which was about where our parking lot is today. The slabs would sit out in the sun for six months to a year to dry out all that moisture, and then the masons would chop it down into smaller, more manageable building blocks and build the Castillo. Now, because Coquina is a very porous stone, it had to be plastered to waterproof it. The Spanish plastered the Castillo inside and out to waterproof the stone. But that disadvantage of the porousness is also an advantage because when you fire cannonballs into a thick wall of coquina, instead of shattering under the impact, it compresses like you're shooting BBs into styrofoam. You get a cannonball sized hole that's less than two feet deep. And because the walls of the Castillo are anywhere from nine to 18 feet thick, less than two feet of damage was not a big deal. Coquina was used because it was the only local stone available to build a permanent fortress, but it turned out to be the best thing they could have used to stand up to cannon fire.